Hey, everybody. It's Debbie of Madam Stitch here. Uh, I'm popping in to tell you a little bit about the rectangle patchwork granny square. So this square, designed by Rafa Musa Designs, is the second square in the 2024 granny stitch sampler blanket. The rectangle patchwork granny square, that's a mouthful, is a fun stash busting Afghan block pattern that combines granny stitch rectangles into a picturesque granny square. And that is straight from Rafa Musa Designs website. All right, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the design features of this square so you had an idea of what you're looking at and getting into. So this pattern, first of all, is great for doing a little stash attack and making a dent in the pile of scraps and leftover yarn you might have. So as you do that, as you gather up your scraps, all worsted weight yarn, you can incorporate even more colors into your granny square. So there are four colors listed in this granny square, but you can use as many or as few as you want. So this square, just like the previous one, is a great option for larger projects uh, because the final product turns out to be 12 inches square. You can use it for pillows. You can extend the border around it, make it a bigger square, use it for pillows. You can um, use it as a patchwork Afghan block um, in a larger blanket. Um, you can use it in scarves. You could do all kinds of things with it. It's made up of separate components. So this is different from every other square that you're going to make in this sampler blanket. So what you do is you make rectangles of different sizes. You make a couple of squares, that sort of thing. Eight components, I believe, in, in total. And they're a combination of rectangles and squares. Those are seamed together. And then an extension is put on that block to create a square shape and then finally it's ended with a border all the way around. So in this particular square, if you've never worked in a rectangle shape with a granny stitch, you'll learn how to do that. Um, I believe that Raffaella has some video tutorials, tutorials that can walk you through how to work the granny rectangle and even the standard granny square. So check that out on her blog post. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the yarn. So Raffaella has chosen for her particular square to use paint box yarn, Simply Erin, and Stylecraft Special Erin. Um, for the square that I did in the sampler blanket, because I was working with the larger picture, I used paint box yarn, Simply Erin, and Wool Mix Erin. Plus I used Plymouth Yarns Encore. So I used three different yarns for my particular square. You can use any worsted weight yarn that's similar in fiber content to these yarns. And the reason why I say that is you're going to be able to get the size that Raffaella wants you to get, um, end up with a 12 inch square. If you use something with um, some uh, a fiber content that's a little stretchier, your square might be smaller. If you use something like cotton, um, that has no stretch to it whatsoever, you have to be spot on with your gauge. There's no fudging with that. So you want to make sure that you have something that has um, some acrylic, some wool. Maybe it can have cotton in it, but just make sure that it's mixed with something else so it has a little bit of stretch. Um, remember, all of the information about the yarns used can be found either in the designer's post where you'll find the square pattern or in the crochet along event post where I've listed all of the yarns that I used for the sample blanket. I've included the link to the cowl event in the description of this video so that you can, that has all the links out to the squares. It has all the information about the yarn, everything you need to know, to know about the larger blanket. Um, you can also get to the designer's post there because that was released. So it is available now for you to go visit that post. All right, let me give you a few tips for working on this square because it's a little bit different from the others. First of all, pay really close attention to the gauge with each square and each rectangle. Make sure that you measure gauge 
to ensure that you get the size of the square when it's all put together everything is the right size don't assume anything don't make a square without or a rectangle without checking because it will be so important once you get done read through the entire pattern and make note of any sections or techniques or stitches or anything you might not understand uh, Raffaella has done a great job of including detailed information in her post, so just make sure that you read through the entire pattern before you start. Because you're going to be working with different components, Raffaella has it listed in her pattern as rectangle one, rectangle two, square one, or whatever. As you make each rectangle and square, label it to be sure that you remember <laughs> what which one it is because believe me i mean i i didn't do that when i was working on it and i had to go back and figure out which rectangle or square it was when i when it came time to put it all together so make sure that you label it you can take a little piece of paper with a safety pin just or a stitch marker and you can pin it to the rectangle before you assemble it just to make sure you don't forget and last when you're seaming the individual squares and rectangles um, together, Raffaella has a wonderful diagram, a diagram in the post that you can use. Um, it has numbers around it that show you what rectangle or square goes in what place. So just make sure that you refer to that. All right, that's it for the rectangle patchwork granny square. Got it right that time. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you can pop those in the Facebook group. We'll be happy to help you with anything that you need, or you can be in touch with Rafaela of Rafa Musa Designs to ask your questions of her. So I hope you enjoy making this square, and don't forget, check out Rafaela's website for more fabulous designs and projects. Good luck and happy crocheting.